WWE is hoping to have The Rock be a part of this year's Survivor Series, which could be in Brooklyn. Bad Men's Andrew Zarian, our own Andrew Zarian, first reported that one of WWE's big four shows would be heading to Brooklyn. Dave Meltzer added in this week's Observer, WWE hopes to bring in the 49-year-old pop culture megastar for an appearance that could lead to something bigger. Hmm. I'm talking about this one for a while. Clearly what they would like to do is Roman Reigns versus The Rock. Now, as I've mentioned a thousand times, I think the last time that The Rock wrestled was like 2012. I have to go back and look, but he had the the matches with John Cena. And uh, if that is the case, the last time he wrestled was nine years ago, and he injured himself in both matches with John Cena. So now he's 49, and he would be going in there with Roman Reigns. Hopefully the guy's all right. I don't like anyone to get hurt, but if your last matches you got hurt in every single one of them nine years ago, I don't know if that bodes well for doing another match nine years later. So uh, I hope for the best. Obviously, it'd be a super big match. It would be a great match for WrestleMania next year, and we'll see if they can pull it off. I think John Cena is going to be SummerSlam, Rock, WrestleMania. The only problem is, what are we going to do in between SummerSlam and Mania? Just a bunch of random blokes being destroyed by Roman Reigns? Guess we'll find out. Back in a moment. Observer Live. I just realized something this person says. I assume John Cena or The Rock is not winning the title from Roman Reigns. So even after those matches, what would be next for Roman? Well, they they also have Brock Lesnar. I mean, oh, that's an obvious one there because Paul Heyman is now with Roman. You bring back Brock. You got the built-in storyline of, is, is Paul going to be loyal to Roman? Is he not going to be loyal to Roman? You could go that direction. You could have uh, Lesnar. I mean, there's a million things you could do with that. So the three big matches that Roman clearly has, whenever they end up doing them, and it depends, I'm sure, on schedules, Roman versus Lesnar for the 50th time, Roman versus John Cena, and Roman Reigns versus The Rock. And obviously The Rock is the main event one because it is The Rock, and because we will find out who the true tribal chief really is it is a murderer's row if you decide to go in that direction having those three i mean i guess jimmy Uso. there's other things i guess you can do in there in the the other months as well but uh it seems like you're really kind of shooting a lot there and i know he would be a year older but he looks like he's in look he's in great cosmetic shape that's for sure wrestling is a completely different ball game and Rock's gotten hurt those last couple of time out, as, as you mentioned. But, you know, I, I to me, it seems like Los Angeles, because that's where Mania is going to be in two years, right? Wouldn't To me, that would be a great time to do that. And you have more than enough time for Reigns to lose the belt to somebody else and still go ahead and build to that match, because you do have Cena and you do have other things, I think, that you could you could possibly do and put together. But imagine them building somebody from inside their own company instead of having to go back let's out not again. be let's not be ridiculous yeah i know how, how crazy is that now the thing with la by the way the thing with the rock is rock makes like 25 million dollars a film so i could be wrong i mean maybe it's just got so much money it doesn't matter but i would think that rock's gonna do this match around his movie schedule. So if he's offered a movie that's going to pay him $25 million and it happens to coincide with WrestleMania, he ain't working WrestleMania. He would be doing a Royal Rumble or a SummerSlam or whatever. It will all depend on his schedule, unlike a Lesnar, I guess to a degree, a John Cena. But I don't think John Cena is making $25 million per shot for these entertainment deals. I don't think so. But you know what? I mean, Brock Lesnar is a name that's also been attached to Bobby Lashley, and that would make sense as a big match, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, whenever you wanted to do that one. I would buy in on that, absolutely. So I think that may be a better use to, for Lesnar because we have seen him in Reigns so many times. And maybe one of the incentives for Rock... It comes from Peacock and it comes from NBC Universal where you're going to do a whole week around the rock and you're going to build it to WrestleMania and you'll have all the, the pomp and circumstance that goes around that where they are now offsetting some of the cost or they are offering insurances to the studios that rock may be signed to or something like that where you're going to run as many movies as you can. Obviously, he does a lot of Disney movies too, but any other movies you might be able to run Maybe you do that as well, too, and that's a incentive for him to do it, you know, and, and a help monetarily for everybody involved. I have listened to this noise like 300 times in a row, dying laughing, and I may go do that after the show is over because 
this noise that Seth Rollins played sounded exactly like the mummy's voice that they recreated on National Geographic. Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> what? It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I can do it one more time. <laughs> It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> the top comment on YouTube, I love when she says, ah! <laughs> if you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.